What's up, Internet? Paparazzo Dave Chapman here. I'm in Megacon in Orlando, Florida. Yes, about as far away from home as I can get without jumping over an ocean. <laughs> I'm here with Ken, and we got some other players around here, and he's going to teach us sabak. Ken, what is sabak? Sabak is a uh, Star Wars-based intergalactic card game um, based entirely on uh, pretty much luck. Fun fact, uh, this is the card game, for those of you that know your Star Wars lore, this is the card game that Han Solo won the Millennium Falcon uh, from Lando. Okay. Uh, the, the, the basic concept of the game is simple. The, the, there's positive and negative cards in the deck, and there are specialty cards that we call Psylocks, which are zero. The object of the game is to get the score of zero within three rounds. There's... Uh, various different hands and style that is similar to poker, but uh, if you have two cards that equal zero, that is enough. Okay. Very good. Um, it's also a betting game. In, in Star Wars, people uh, pretty much bet anything. Credits, spice, ships, planets, space stations. Whatever they, whatever they got. It, 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 was, it was quite wildly popular. So, uh, but for, for ease, we have credits that we'll do it with. So we'll, we'll start with the basic ante. There are two pots to Sabak. There is the main pot, which is where the regular gameplay has come from, and we hold the Sabak pot. The Sabak pot is a progressive pot, which means it builds up. Okay. Um, there are specialty hands that if you win, you win both pots. So during the course of a typical evening in a cantina, that pot, that pot gets awfully large. Now, it's uh, game played in three rounds, three phases for a round. There's the card phase, there's the gambling phase, the bet betting phase, and the dice phase. Now, I'll get to each one of those as we go. The card phase basically is you can draw a card from the pile and keep it. You can have up to five cards. Okay. From two to five, no less, no, no, less, no more. You can pick up a card and discard a card in your hand. That's not the same card you picked up. Right. The whole, nope, that won't work. Um, you can also swap the top card over here with a card in your hand. You can do that as well. You can stand, you can junk, that's what we call, what we call folding. Okay. Junk. Uh, and that's pretty much it. All right. Each cantina has different variations of the game. But for, for the sake of you find folks out there, we'll, we'll keep it simple so that way you guys can look at the game and go, wow, this is very cool. So, now remember, there are positive numbers. I'll show my hand. We have positive numbers in the deck and negative numbers in the deck. And the object is to get to zero. zero. So I can swap this for this. Card in your hand. Okay. There we go. Betting in, betting in Sabak is pretty much similar to poker. The first person in the round, which would be you. You can open a bet at any amount you wish. All right. And gonna he's going to open at 50. Match. Okay, she's going to she's gonna match the bet. I'm going to raise. He's going to raise. So now what happens is he raised it another 50, which means that he's got to match the new bet. I'll match the new bet. And you've got to match. And now, this is the fun part of the game, <laughs> the dice phase. Now, each the dice has different symbols on it okay each one does in various action the way it works is if I roll it and I roll doubles everybody gets a new hand <laughs> of course so if you have a really nice hand and you think you're gonna win and all that and the roll doubles you lose the hand and get a brand new hand if I roll these show it to your screen that is the what we call the Karelian spike if two of those are rolled, everyone gets a new hand, but I reshuffle the deck. Okay. Okay? So, I don't know how we're going to show this to the camera here. That was the roll. It's a nice deck, though. No doubles. This is the Karelian shift. And uh, so now uh, round two starts, then we go back to card phase. Now, okay. just a... Just, just a quick note for you of the games I've had in the past, and I've actually had one here uh, for the tournament that I'm doing earlier. Man had a winning hand, it was a nice pot, and I rolled doubles, oh. and he lost the hand. Yep, positive four. So, block with five cards. Woo! 
positive one. Be able to one. show the camera for that yeah. one. Right. Because uh, she beat me. I got a positive one as well. Okay, now this is this is what we call Savak. If you look at all five cards, all five cards equals zero. If she had that, if she had uh, like all four ones and the Psylop, that would be what we call a pure, uh, full Savak. And she would win the both pots that are down here as well. The other uh, winning hand, which is the best hand in the game that I will show you for the sake of uh, so your viewing audience out there that are now running out to buy Savak decks as we speak. How's the time? Negative time. Yeah. You know, I've had games There's two Psylops in the game. If you have these cards and these cards only, that is pure nice. Savak. That is the I've highest hand in Savak. This, uh... It's a game of chance. No, he won it with full Savak. But this is the pure Savak right here. This is the best hand in the game. And that, sir, is how it's played. Behind you on the wall is, uh, what we call our hierarchy of hands. Uh, it, they kind of, it, it's kind of almost a similar type format as poker, but there's a lot more different variations. I like this deck because it's got the numbers on, especially for folks that are just learning. So when they have to look at these, they don't have to look at the chart and go, okay, what number is that? And most people, you know, they, they come to have fun, not to do math. Yeah. So I try to make it as easy as possible. That and this really just to sleep with them. Oh, you want me to do shameless plugs? You can do a shameless plug, yes. Okay, I can do shameless plugs. Uh, Mike and Emily from Hyperspace Props. Uh, they're on Etsy, and they have their own thing as well, and that's where you can get these right here. And um, I'm also a part of this league right here, the Florida Sabacc League. That is our scanny, I don't know what they're called, but it's a scanny you thing, you know, some whatever. Uh, we offer uh, various cantinas, and we have various... Uh, training uh, aids. That's amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you guys. And may Lady Luck be forever in your favor. It's not me, it's the dice. Blame it on the dice. Yeah, yeah, I run a respectable business. Here. Loaded dice. Yep. <laughs>